an Indiana Pacer, but he has been working out like crazy, getting ready for this next season. And not only is he doing that, the word is out. He is looking for a place to rent in Cali. Now, if you're playing for the Indiana Pacers, you know, finding a place to to settle down with in California, that's a bit of a travel. So, it's looking like gears are in motion as Kyrie Irving has already bought a house in LA. Gears look like they're in full swing to bringing this person on to the Los Angeles Lakers. Now, Buddy Hill, it's a hardworking athlete, plus he's a baller. He's a scoring machine and he's durable. Now, the thing about Buddy that most people don't know because he's been in California forever, staying in Sacktown and playing with the Sacramento Kings. He's been in LA. He's played at UCLA gym. I've known him since Oklahoma, watching him play over there. And actually, but even in Oklahoma, and when he was in um, Sacramento, he has been the same type of player. He has not grown. He continues to be the same professional athlete that he is. It's all individual with Buddy Hill. Buddy does not seem locked in to a team format. Just Buddy. Buddy's going to get his. And that was one of the situations that they had with him over in uh, Sacramento. And why it didn't work out there. Buddy's a great athlete, great scorer, great shooter. But individually, he kind of isolates the team. So if you add this to the Los Angeles Lakers, yes, you have a poignant score, but you also add a person who cares about him. Will he be able to deal with the pressures when he has those games where the shots are not dropping and the media actually is going to be coming down on you. You're not in sack town no more. This is when it's for real. So you're going to have to come to terms with it. More than anything, you know, so. No, 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 no. Sacramento is not that close to L.A. as you think. You know, that's a, like a two-hour drive. You got to understand, he's not He's not doing this to <laughs> because he's like, okay, I'm finna come to Cali to do all this and that. He's got to think of a, he's going to be playing at L.A. So he's going to need a place closer. Um, I already know because the agency that handles this for the professional athletes, you know, this is how I knew Kevin Durant was going to New York, but I thought he was going to the Knicks, but I knew he was going to the East Coast because he had his family go out there and look for the house he was going to stay at because he couldn't do it. So...
Oh, Buddy is going to be ready. There's one thing about Buddy Hill. He's going to be ready for the season. He going to be he, what he ain't going to be ready for is the media attention. In Oklahoma, it was always about Buddy. He made sure he was he was the star. He was the main attraction. He was the scoring machine. Buddy could shoot the ball. They paid him a lot of money. And I the person that I felt they should have kept was Bodogovich because he embodied the team. And he was better for the team. But Buddy was like, look, I'm Buddy here. You're going to have to pay me. Well, what that exercise does is get your core all together. You know, buddy, <laughs> buddy going to do his thing. He going to put the work in. Does this mean he's going to the Lakers? I don't know. I don't know. It, it it remains to be seen. But it's it wouldn't hurt. It's definitely a good look. Brand new day. Well, all right. Well, by them adding Miles Turner, it's not even fair. Because what are you going to what are you going to use to get Kyrie Irving? They're going to trade Kyrie Irving. Do you want to play Kyrie Irving for a half a season? And let's say Kyrie gets hurt. Then you lose him and you don't get nothing for Kyrie Irving. But who does the Lakers have that they can complete a trade? Because if Russell Westbrook is gone, then they won't be able to get him. If Russ is gone, they won't be able to get um, they won't be able to get Kyrie Irving. I mean, who would they be able to trade to get Kyrie Irving? I'm glad people have stopped the sensationalism 
of trying to add Kevin Durant to the Lakers. <laughs> Buddy Hill ain't no difference maker. Uh, if you add Buddy Hill and you add Miles Turner to a team with AD and LeBron, that makes them a better team. But you're right. That doesn't make contenders. Because the problem you're going to have is Buddy Hill and LeBron are going to clash. I already know that. Buddy is a me guy. <laughs> so once I heard they were trying to get Buddy Hill and they want Buddy Hill so bad, I, I'm like, oh, please do it. See, LeBron has played with Buddy Hill before pickup game. So he know Buddy can shoot. Kevin Durant, Russ, they've all played with Buddy. They know what Buddy can do. You know? And not only can Buddy Hill shoot, Buddy Hill can play defense, defender, but he can play defense, but he can put points on the board. Miles Turner is going to be down there helping out soft-ass AD, <laughs> but it comes down to one main factor, health. Buddy Hill can stay healthy. Miles Turner, yeah, he's more healthy for most part. But LeBron and AD, they brittle, brittle, brittle. LeBron got them Cinderella ankles. Can't move them like he used to. Thank you. So, for me, it's a no-brainer. If you can make a trade, and and if you're the Lakers, you can make books. That's perfect. The Pacers need a point guard. Now they got one. Malcolm Brockton coming over to the uh, Malcolm Brockton coming over to the uh, Boston Celtics is gonna help. <coughs> but if they had those four and they could add Kyrie Irving. That would be even crazier. The Lakers want to get this trade done as quickly as possible. Uh, LeBron's relationship with 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 uh, Russ is non-existent. They're not boys. They ain't friends. That's dead. Russ isn't stupid. Russell Westbrook took up with Kendrick Perkins and had a good relationship with Perkins. Uh, Kendrick Perkins uh, had a good relationship with his wife and Russ's wife. They were really close. So Russ's wife sent a long message to Kendrick Perkins and, and to Kendrick Perkins' wife. 
That's how serious this thing got. The Lakers haven't offered him an extension. <laughs> They won't be, no, they can't even do all this until August. So it's not even on the table right now. No, Buddy Hill was the, uh, he was the main, what you would call the antagonist in the situation. The person they're going to blame will be Buddy Hill. He's going to take the place of the new person to blame when everything goes wrong in L.A. if he comes there. If Kyrie Irving go to the Clippers in a surprise move, that's the end of LeBron James. <laughs> that is the end of LeBron Ramon James. He can hang up everything. If Kyrie go to the Clippers, they can have Buddy Hill, Benny Hill, they can have them all. It don't make no difference. I had no idea as to why they want to as to as to why they want to um, blow up the whole ship, but that's when when Perkins was talking crazy, like he was talking, and then he tried to apologize to Russ's wife, and because some of the statements they was making, then trying to say he don't come up with the topics on the show. You know, like, it wasn't me. I don't come up with the topics on the show, but she didn't respond back to none of that stuff he said. Like, she, she's done with all them. The whole LeBron James thing, they, they done. Like, love is done. It's over. They don't want to skate with you. They don't want to, uh-uh. Bad mojo. Bad mojo over there. Nobody rocking with it. So if nobody rocking with it, it can't take off. Oh yeah, they lied too. There was never a phone call with Russ, AD, and LeBron. That's a lie. That phone call never happened. I don't know. That's another false media BS. Those guys are committed to each other and they're ready to play. It is a lie. That conversation never happened.
They never spoke. Since all this Kyrie stuff came out and LeBron wasn't talking, Russ, Russ ain't never spoke to him. use Russ, exploit him. He got him out there on the Lakers so he could make this movie on Russ. About time they know the real Russ. We're gonna put out this movie. Yep. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Put out this movie called Russ. Yep, I'm gonna produce it. Put it out. We'll get it on like Showtime or HBO. Yep. It's gonna be great. Tell him it's gonna be great. Watch. Yep. can go off on any night but LeBron gonna be playing for stats because he's trying to pass Kareem this season so he gonna be gunning for it and then he gotta learn how to play LeBron ball and that's when it's really gonna go down boy I'm hoping they get Buddy here so I can laugh my butt off when him and Buddy clash and then I'm gonna watch all the fans turn on it's gonna be beautiful they're gonna turn on Buddy Hill <laughs> after begging for him. <laughs> then they finna turn on him. It's gonna be amazing. Oh, Home Depot and Lowe's and all that. That's my new home. This is my hangout spot now. This place is like a maze for me. I don't be knowing what's going on. Nine times out of ten. I be thinking they didn't move everything on me. I be like, did y'all move that? I forgot which store I be in. Well, I saw this stuff at. Oh, buddy. Buddy would never be, uh, boom, that's the bulb right there. I just walked in, smacked into it. Yep. Got two of them. And that's a wrap, champ. That's <laughs> so crap. 
And we out. Just like that. Now, uh, if Buddy ever was to do something like that, I don't know. To me, um, Buddy, um, to me, is an exceptional score, but to me, he fits a a system sort of like Golden State, a, a, mo a motion offense. The Lakers don't have a motion offense. They're off, their offense is very stagnated, very slow. Buddy moves better with speed. He plays better when guys are running in transition. The Lakers transition baskets are far few and in between. Because then you got to play defense to get <laughs> stuff in transition. So, if you start running things in transition, then... Oh, here we go. You start running stuff in transition, you can get fast breaks. So... Oh, I knew it was a wrap. Way back when. I knew it was a wrap. Oh, sorry, man. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, I'll just wait. There's another one over there. Oh, sorry. I'll wait. Please scan your items. When you're Remember you just said that. Remember, remember you just said that. Oh, that's Kaiser Sozi. Yeah, don't disappear, Kaiser. When they start struggling, and they start blaming Buddy for shooting too many wild threes. <laughs> I don't want to hear it. Would you like to I don't want to hear it. Thank you for shopping at the. Hey, you got to sign All right. And they blame Buddy Hill. I already told you if something go wrong, they're going to blame Riff. Russ is the only person they can blame. To blame anyone else would be uncivilized. Please, would you like an e receipt? No, I would not. Thank you for shopping at the Home Depot. Thank you very much for allowing me to. Oh, buddy, here will be the first person playing. I want this deal done quick, fast, in a hurry. 
I hope they get Miles Turner too. I hope it be Miles Turner, Buddy Hill. <coughs> For Russ and some draft picks. I don't know. Maybe he will. Who knows? Get old, get old Beaver Boy back out there, buddy. Here. I can't wait till the Laker fans see that. Laker fans gonna be mad as hell. It's that beaver tooth. Leave it to beaver. Buddy Hill. We could have won the game, but Buddy gonna take that long three. Cost us the damn game. I know he used to losing because he's in Sacramento all the damn time. But damn. Y'all gonna be crying. Oh, Bucky Beaver gonna be. <laughs> Which lane is he taking? Pretty much, if they were being honest, I would have felt that way. But hell, Buddy Hill on the Lakers, I'm with it. Everybody around here with me. I'm with it. Buddy Hill on the Lakers, I'm with it. Miles Turner too. Miles Turner gonna be going to doggone. He gonna be going to therapy for mental health. It's going to be crazy on them like Man, these dudes cannot drive. Everybody rat tat tat. Everybody had it. 
Hell, boy, I see no with it. Sound like fear to me? Oh, no, I don't feel nothing. Miles Turner going to be in a white straight jacket <laughs> dealing with them like Buddy Hill going to be all mad dealing with all this LeBron James crap. Oh, yeah. Coach Ham got the whole smack somebody in the mouth crew. That's what you get out there. You get the smack them in the mouth crew. You got him. The whole smack them in the mouth crew. Him. Rasheed Wallace. That's the smack somebody in the mouth crew. I'm with it. Get him on that team ASAP and watch how quickly they break up. Watch how quickly they fall apart. It'd be everybody around there with it. Buddy Hill out there, right that cat, shooting all the place. Brian man, can't get his stats. Seen no with it. <laughs> Mount Turner pissed off. He keep getting blamed. He can't get the ball. Everybody, man, I'm with it. AD injured all the time. He ain't even playing. He crying. See no with it. So I'm going to get out of here because I want to play some music. So, 
Yeah, I'm gonna get to jamming. But I'm gonna holler at y'all.